Hi, today's video concerns the chain rule. The chain rule is the way we take derivatives of a composition. If capital F of X is F of G of X, then the derivative F prime of X is capital F prime, F prime of G of X times g prime of x. Think of this as like peeling the layers of an onion. You take the derivative of the outside function with the inside being exactly the same. You don't touch that. You don't change that times the derivative of the inside function. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples involving chain and other functions and other rules. Suppose I have f of x is equal to the cosine of x squared secant of x. In this case, my outside function is cosine. Inside, I have a product. So, using my derivative rules, since the very first main app, um, Way of combining functions is by uh, composition. We take the derivative of the outside first, which would be the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. The derivative of cosine of something is negative sine of that same something. The inside here does not change. Times. Now we go and look at the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the inside is this product. And so here I have to use a product rule first times the derivative of the second, secant of x, tangent of x, plus second, times the derivative of the first, 2x. And I'm just going to leave it like that, instead of trying to simplify it. Okay? Let's, uh, same basic makeup but I'm gonna change my ordering around. Now I have the cosine of x squared times secant of x. In this case, the main operation, the main way things are, functions are combined is by multiplication. So I have to use the product rule first. My derivative would be first times the derivative of the second, secant of x, tangent of x plus second, and now when I take the derivative of the first, it is a composition because I have this function inside the cosine. So this would be the negative sine of x squared, that's the derivative of the cosine part, times 2x. And so this is the derivative this time. Notice we had a completely different derivative just by how I, where I put this parenthesis and changes the function completely. Changes the main operation, the, the thing that we have to do first. Let's look at um, a couple applications involving. Suppose I have <clears throat> find the equation of tangent line Two, y equals e to the cube root of x at x equal 27. My derivative, I have to use the chain rule. Derivative of the outside function, derivative of the exponential is just itself, times the derivative of the inside, the derivative of the cube root of x is one-third x to the negative two-thirds. Remember the cube root of x is x to the one-third power. And so this becomes, I will rewrite this as e to the cube root of x over uh, three cube roots of x squared. x to the negative two-thirds is cube root of x squared in the denominator. Okay, 
Equation of the tangent line, I need the point. So my y value at 27 would be e to the cube root of 27. Cube root of 27 is just 3. And so this is e cubed. You can leave it like that. My derivative at 27 is e cubed over 3 times the cube root of 27 squared. Take the cube root first, it's easier. Um, cube root of 27 is 3, squared is 9, and so I get e cubed over 27. And so my equation in this case is y minus e cubed is equal to e cubed over 27 times the quantity x minus 27. And you can leave it like that. We can solve for y if we wish, or just leave it like that. Okay, one more application. Again, let's consider horizontal tangent lines for a function. And suppose I want to know where does y equal 3x minus 1 to the 4th times 2x plus 5 to the 6th at horizontal tangent lines. And so again, I want to know where the derivative is 0. We will take the derivative. This is a product first. So I need to consider first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of the second is a chain. 6 times 2x plus 5 to the fifth times 2. Outside function is an exponential. I mean, as a power function, so use your power rule, plus second times the derivative of the first is going to be 4 times 3x minus 1 cubed times 3. And now I want to know where this is equal to 0. I will combine this 12 times 3x minus 1 to the fourth times 2x plus 5 to the fifth plus 12 times 2x plus 5 to the sixth times 3x minus 1 cubed is equal to zero. And in order to solve this, we have to change this being the main operation of addition into multiplication. In other words, factor. I can factor out the 12. No, don't divide, we factor. Factor out. Factor out the 12. I can factor out a 3x minus 1 uh, cubed. That leaves one of them here. All of these pull out front. And I factor out a 2x plus 5 to the fifth. All of these pull out, and it leaves one of them here. And when I factor that out, what is left is 3x minus 1 plus 2x plus 5. And now I have a product equal to 0. My product is 12 times 3x minus 1 cubed times 2x plus 5 to the fifth times, this comes out to be 5x plus 4. And so therefore, the values that make this 0, x equal 1 third, x equal negative 5 halves, x equal negative 4 fifths. These are where I have horizontal tangent lines.